Question three seems to be all about intervals, which is measuring the distance in pitch between two particular notes. And so it says, name the following intervals. In your answers, you only need to include the interval, second, third, fourth, etc., but not its type, major, minor, perfect, augmented, diminished. Cool. So that makes it much more straightforward uh, because... We don't need to worry too much about whether what type of interval it is, just really count the distance in pitch between the two notes. So let's have a look at what we've got here. In our first example, which it tells us is in the key of F major, which might be important because there might be a key signature which will change you know, the notes that we're looking at, um, we've got these two notes here, an F and a C. So how many notes apart are F and C? Well, if we count through them, we go F, G, A, B, C. So that's five steps between F and C which means that in this case, we're dealing with a fifth. Now, as the question said, we don't need to work out what kind of fifth it is, whether it's a diminished fifth, a perfect fifth, or whatever. We just need to write the thing in. So that's all we need to do for this kind of question. It's a nice introduction, I guess, to, to measuring intervals. Um, got this thing here. It's the key of A minor. Again, quite important to just be aware of what the key is that we're, we're working in for each example. The interval here is you know, much smaller than it was here in the first question. We have an A and a B, so these notes are exactly next to each other. And how many steps are there to go between A and B? Counting, we always count the top and the bottom note, remember, in our interval counting. And so we start on A, that's one, and we go up to B, that's two, and then we've done it. So actually there's only, you know, two, two step, well, we, we, two notes counting the top and the bottom that we go through. So that is a second, because it's that really small step. It's actually just a tone. So a second is, you know, it, uh, well, a major second in this case is uh, is a tone. So next question, A major, much bigger interval this time. We're going from, well, that's an A down there, just under the bottom of the treble clef and an A up here in the second space, F-A-C-E, facing the space. And we can go, if we count again, including the top and the bottom notes, it's going to go through A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4, E, 5, F, 6, G, 7, and A, 8. So that's eight whole steps. And because it's an A at the bottom and an A at the top, we should already be basically aware of what this is going to be. But this is an interval of an octave. Easy enough. So those are quite straightforward. If you, you know, there's only, if it's the same, exactly the same pitch note at the top and the bottom of your interval, then you know that you're going to be dealing with an octave. So... That should be relatively straightforward. And the next one is in D minor, which is quite important to know. And we are going from a D at the bottom to an F. So how many steps do we have counting the bottom and the top? We have D, E and F. So that's three steps. So we're dealing with some kind of third. And, you know, we're lucky in this case that we don't need to go into too much detail as to what kind of third that is. And that's the end of question three. So I'll see you in question four.